So today I'm going to show um, an XCAD um, in preparation for our November 5th and 6th course on XCAD basics here at Transcend Dental Education. Um, a way that I kind of combine Blue Sky and XCAD to make a conversion prosthesis. So I have a case here, all on four, upper, we have it all fully guided. Um, and so I'm going to show how I go about um, making the prosthesis uh, uh, con to convert at the end. So after you've drilled the holes, placed the implants and all that. So um, first I'm gonna set up this case. Um, this is gonna be upper conversion prosthesis. I'm gonna call this a Pontic wax up. Doesn't really totally matter what you put here for this. I'm gonna use a pre-op because I do have a wax up. I'm gonna design the wax up digitally um, I am going to do gingiva as well. Click OK, and then I'm going to hold Shift down, and select all the upper teeth. Since I have a wax up, I don't need the lower at all. I'm going to save that and go into design mode. So it's going to ask me to pull the jaw in. Here we're going to create uh, two or three millimeters of spacer from the reduction we did, um, just as a way of guessing where the gums are going to be. So um, I'm going to put in this upper reduced jaw. And this will make more sense in a second here. Upper ideal wax up. Okay, so now what we have here is this is the reduced jaw that we're going to have and also the wax up of the teeth. Um, so it's asking me initially to put in um, the orientation. So you're just going to occlusal plane, kind of looking down on that. Click next. It's going to ask about pre-op placement, and that's already correct. We don't, we're not using Smile Creator. We used that earlier. So this is the part that's important. I want to create that spacer here um, for the gum. So this is bone, but I don't want it to be on the bone. So you, this is a virtual wax up bottom. But basically what I'm going to do here, I'm going to do 2.5 millimeters of space, and I'm going to have it be really smooth. And we're going to, it's, we don't need to consider milling, and I want to get rid of all the undercuts. And then I'm going to apply that. What that's going to do is it's going to create a, three, a two and a half millimeter spacer basically on the entire model, a blockout model, um, essentially, is what it's going to make. Um, and so uh, after that, we'll, we'll start getting into um, the design. The nice thing is I already have the teeth designed, so I don't have to do this twice. Um, I just need to do this the first time um, at the very beginning of the case, and then we're going to kind of copy the wax up here, and you'll see that here in a second. Um, See, it creates this, uh, uh, let's go to the next step here, but it creates this wax up bottom, which if you look, if we made a slice here, you can see that basically you have three millimeters of space between the jaw and the actual wax up, and it's a very smooth. So now we're going to place some teeth, put that there, put this here, well, Let's try this again. Put that there, put this here. Now this is where I do things a little bit different. Um, I don't want to have to redesign this. So, um, and you could do this a lot of different ways, but the way that I generally do this, is I do it in chain mode. Pull this right here, lock it, and then I'm gonna, see if I can find my chain, where is it? There it is, pull this over, yeah. Lock it, and then I'm just going to slowly, you know, get the teeth in a ballpark. I'm not really that worried about getting it perfect right now. Um, I usually do canines, and then the other canine, and then get the anteriors. So this isn't perfect, and then I'm going to go into simple, and I'm just going to get all of these teeth to fit within the pre-op. Um, this will make a lot more sense here in a second. Um, It doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, it matters a little bit, but not a lot um, to get it perfect here. Um, there are, like I said, a lot of ways to do this. This has just been the way that seems to work the best for me. I usually do them a little bit smaller than the, the pre-op. Right. So 
I'm going to kind of fine tune here, make sure everything is it fits within that. And this may seem like a tedious step, but you don't want to have to redo this wax up at all um, that you've already done. That's just going to be a waste. So, um, all right. So, if uh, there you got one wild card there. So, here we go. Now what I'm going to do is, because I know that this is in occlusion with my posing, I want to copy it as perfectly as possible. So I'm going to click Next. It's going to ask me if I want to adapt anything, which I don't. Um, I'm going to click Next again. And then it's going to ask if I want to adapt to pre-op scan, which I do. So this is going to take these teeth and uh, take them and copy exactly the pre-op pretty much. Now, if you don't have the teeth close to where you were, it'll do it in kind of a weird way. So um, you're going to make sure to get the teeth they give you close to your pre-op or else it won't turn out right. And the bottom of them will, will sometimes be weird if the teeth sticking out. I could have spent more time on that, but really it doesn't matter. Um, so after this, we really don't have a ton left to do. Um, I come out, yeah, there we go. So you can see if you take away the pre-op, now I've copied it pretty much. You can see the bottom's a little funky and I'll mess with that in a second. Um, it's gonna give me the free form ability again so I can mess with this. Um, learning the hotkeys is important. Um, two is smooth. If you hold shift down, it makes it flat, but I'm gonna just smooth. This is really not crucial, but I'm just, just OCD enough to do that. Okay, now we're going to go to uh, making the uh, gingiva, design gingiva, yes, here on the side of overdone here, we can always come back and trim this up. For conversion prosthesis, I'd like it to be pretty thick. I'm actually going to change the thickness here. Ooh, and I'm going to have this be really smooth. It may make it look chunky, but you you can always trim away. So. X, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in, turn these teeth back on here. Colors, I don't need to really know. So come in here, and then I'm going to add some thickness here. Nice thing that you can do is you can have these abutments in here to see what exactly where your holes are going to end up, um, which is kind of nice. I'm going to fat, fatten this up here, and I'm going to come back and smooth. Nobody thick, but. go um, and I'm gonna anywhere I see that tube I'm just gonna kind of yeah. as much of that tube as I can sometimes the X cat will freak out if you if you don't cover that area and I'll show in a second what that what I'm talking about so all right All right, now it should be calculating this wax up. Um, basically, that just means it's making one solid piece. Taking all these individual teeth and joining them together as as a single merged uh, wax up. Um, so, 
And there we go. It's going to subtract out the area and then get rid of the teeth that are touching on the... Remember, we have this wax up bottom, so anywhere that... Anywhere that you see it touching, it's going to try to trim that away so that you have just the right amount of contact. Um, if you wanted to create press, say you got rid of all that. So now we should have one solid wax up here. Um, going to the next, here we go. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to smooth this little weird booger out, but um, is I'm going to go here and I'm going to go to attachments. I want to subtract out the uh, abutments and I want to apply. Hopefully we'll see four clean holes. Yep. So there we go. We have, uh, can go to next. Actually, I'm going to just make this a little bit less bulky. Still feels a little fat here, so. But the nice thing about it is we've got these holes in place. Um, now the other thing that you can do is you can cut, and we probably don't want any distal extension. You can do that in XCAD. I'm just gonna leave it alone for now. But uh, yeah, so now we go to next. It's going to finalize it, and then we have our um, conversion prosthesis. I'm going to attach it to the reduction guide um, and, and mesh mixer, and then I can basically um, I will pin this into the bone, attach cylinders, smooth it up, and it'll be done in occlusion at the right spot. So just an example of some XCAD stuff you can do. Uh, this is not necessarily in XCAD basics, what we'll hit. I'll show this, but um, we will do hands-on of pretty much everything you can think of uh, on this list here. Uh, uh, we want to go through as much as we can. Um, crowns, we'll do ex you know, eggshell crowns. Uh, Dentures, splints, uh, what any bars, whatever we want to do, we'll we'll go through with everybody and have cases and demo through it all. So, going to be a great course. So consider joining us November fifth and sixth. Uh, thanks for watching.